Welcome to class number 10 and the final class in the course on nanotechnology and nanosensors. This class will present an example for imitation of the human sensors using nanotechnology. As a representative example, I will present a system that imitates the human skin, namely a system that is known as electronic or artificial skin. The first session of this class will focus on the properties of the human skin and the future applications that arises from the development of this device. We will start this class with a short introduction to the human skin. The skin is the largest organ of the human body with a total area of around 20 square feet. The skin protects us from microbes, prevents infection, and manufactures vitamin D for converting calcium into healthy bones. The skin is a huge sensor packed with nerves for keeping the brain in touch with the outside world. At the same time, skin allows us free movement, proving itself as an amazingly versatile organ. The skin helps us to regulate the body temperature and permits the sensations of touch, heat, and cold. In the present slide, you can see a video that demonstrates the principles of the human skin function. Enjoy. The body's largest organ, the skin, serves as a protective coat, guarding internal structures from the outside environment. It is composed of two distinct layers of tissue, the epidermis and the dermis. The epidermis consists of an outer sheet of dead cells called the stratum corneum and a deeper section of rapidly dividing cells called the basal layer. When dead cells of the stratum corneum are damaged or scraped off during body activity, cells from the basal layer rise to replace them. The epidermis serves as the body's initial barrier to invading foreign substances. Directly below the basal layer is the thicker dermis layer, made of dense connective tissue. Embedded within the dermis are several kinds of important sensory receptors, including thermoreceptors, which detect temperature change, Meissner's corpuscles, which are sensitive to touch, and free nerve endings, which detect pain and tissue damage. The dermis also contains many other structures, including sweat glands, hair follicles, and blood vessels. For many applications, there is a high need to imitate the human skin in a way that is applied for sophisticated applications and that can be achieved with the human skin. This system is known, as we have mentioned previously, as electronic or artificial skin. As a matter of fact, cost-effective, lightweight, easy to fabricate and versatile electronic skin that is based on bendable and stretchable sensors are expected to make a revolution in the sensing technology and to replace conventional rigid sensors in existing applications. In addition, these systems are expected to spur the development of totally new smart sensing applications. With this in mind, in the next few slides, I will make a general review on the potential and futuristic applications of the electronic skin without going into the technical issues that relates to each presented application. The electronic skin concept was initially developed for applications in robotics. So far, robots could be provided with pressure sensing, or if you like, touch, that would allow them to grip objects securely without damaging them. The most simple action for a human can be extremely complex for robots. One of the examples is the picking up an egg problem, where a robot with no sense of touch have to apply a specific force on the egg in order to pick it up without dropping, or on the other hand, without breaking the egg. The development of touch sensors for robots is still in its early stages. As a matter of fact, today's 
state-of-the-art skilled robotic hands cannot even perform simple tasks like tying a shoelace or pouring a drink. Most commercial robotic systems still incorporate only a binary touch sensors that can merely distinguish whether touch occurs or not. For this reason, new sensing technologies have been explored, including carbon-loaded elastomer, piezoelectric materials, and microelectromechanical systems, but a few have been implemented into commercial systems. In a future rehabilitation medicine, electronic skin based on high lateral resolution arrays of flexible sensors could help restoring the natural sense of touch to users of prosthetics. Ideally, electronic skin for touch-sensitive artificial limbs should provide force sensitivity in the range of 5 to 100 millinewton. In addition, the artificial limbs should provide repeatability of the sensor output, monotonic sensor response, and spatial resolution of 1 to 2 mm. Nevertheless, the advancement of the tactile prosthetic limbs requires additionally the development of novel electronic sensors that could connect the electronic skin to the human nervous system. An interesting application of the electronic skin is in the field of surgical robots. Surgical robots began to enter the operating rooms around the world, allowing minimal invasive surgery and high-quality medical care in remote areas where qualified surgeons are not available. The major problem in surgical robots these days is a lack of tactile sensation on which surgeon can highly depend during the surgery to locate arteries and tumors hidden inside the tissue. The advances of electronic skin has the potential to equip future surgical tools with the ability to distinguish different kinds of tissues using tactile properties such as elasticity to locate tumors or to detect abnormal stiffness of organs. Health monitoring with the help of electronic skin shall be considered as one of the most intriguing applications of these devices. Here is a brief explanation of the rationale behind this application. The improvements in the health care during the last few decades have increased the life expectancy in the industrialized countries so that the large number of the patients with multiple complex health conditions can stay active today. Health providers are looking for more cost-effective and responsive ways to deliver health care services, including early detection of risk factors and early diagnosis throughout continuous health monitoring, allowing early cost-effective treatment by far. In clinical health monitoring, the diagnostic machines that perform physiological measurements are connected to patients with wires and cables. Such complicated wiring can be inconvenient and distressing for both patients and physicians. For example, a patient who may have heart disease is usually required to wear a bulky monitor for a prolonged period in order to capture the abnormal yet rare cardiac events. With this in mind, miniaturization of such complicated machines in the form of flexible, seamless, and tiny electronic skin that can be attached to the patient's body would remove many of the barriers that exist in the current technologies. Such electronic skin would additionally allow constant collection of long-term physiological data in human patients in their normal lives in a non-invasive and inexpensive manner. These monitorized electronic skins will have potential to transform physiologic monitoring in a wireless way and in a real time to one or a combination 
of the following options emergency family members and or clinicians in this case networked electronic skin will have the potential to interact to both monitor disease and the effectiveness of the treatment as well an illustration of a remote health monitoring system based on wearable electronic skin is presented on the screen the figure illustrates that health related information is generated throughout body worn wireless sensors and transmitted to the carver via an information gateway such as mobile phone healthcare providers can use this information to implement interventions as needed attaching electronic skin to natural skin is more difficult than attaching it to robots or prosthetics natural skin is soft and delicate and already has touch sensing functions the electronic skin that can be used for physiological monitoring must have a supporting layer with mechanical properties that match those of the natural skin to avoid any discomfort resulting from the long wearing. The electronic skin must not be too thick or too rigid or too hard or too heavy, but rather it must have comfortable contact, intimate integration and adequate adhesion with the natural skin. Researchers have developed an electronic skin in the form of a highly stretchable net consisting of various sensors and electronics of serpentine shapes that is sandwiched between two protection layers of equal thickness. The device layer sits on the polyester layer that is engineered with mechanical properties to match those of the natural skin. These mechanical characteristics lead to robust adhesion to the skin throughout van der Waals forces alone without any mechanical fixturing, hardware, or adhesive tapes. The devices impose negligible mechanical or mass loading as is evident from the images presented on the screen. As a matter of fact, and as seen in the images, the skin deforming freely and reversibly without any apparent constraints in motion due to the devices. In the presented approach on the screen, the electrons, electronics, sensors, power supply, and communication components are configured together into ultra-thin, low-modulus, lightweight, stretchable skin-like membranes. These skin-like membranes are comfortably laminate into the surface of the skin by soft contact in a manner that is mechanically invisible to the user, much like a temporary transfer tattoo. In the future, these devices are expected to integrate a collection of multifunctional sensors, such as temperature, strain, electrophysiological sensors, also, it can integrate microscale light emitting diodes, active or passive circuit elements, wireless power coils, and devices for radio frequency communications, oscillators, etc., etc. This device is expected to sense and transduce signals without clumsy wiring and power suppliers. An additional example of the electronic skin for health applications include EKG recordings from the chest have revealed high quality signals with information in all phases of the heartbeat, including rapid depolarization of the cardiac wave and the associated signal complex. This actually can be seen in figure A on the right side on the screen. Also, one can see electromyography, or EMG, measured on the leg with muscle con uh, contractions to simulate walking and resting, and this is presented in figure B on the left side. An alternative way to view the data 
is shown in figure C, in which the spectral content appears in the color counter plot with the frequency and time along the y and x axes, respectively. We reach now to the end of class number 10, session number 1. Thank you.